Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Seeger and welcome back to my channel, The Seeger Stories. I had had at least a couple requests for an Easter decorating video, so I wanted to pop on and do just a quick video. Of course, first things first, gotta get the house clean, so we're doing just a little clean with me first. And sorry if the footage is a little rocky, I had my camera settings a little off and didn't realize until I was editing, but wanted to get the counters scrubbed down and the dishes done. We just got these new cups that I was super excited they are not dishwasher safe so those had to be hand washed and we also needed a good scrub of the floor the rest of the house was pretty good but the bulk of the decorating I feel like I do is my tiered trays so it's all in the kitchen and then I also wanted to get some new bowls that we got for Ruby set up and in the kitchen today she came right away to inspect, but she's like, mm, no food? I don't know about this, but I was super excited to get these because we had her bowls and they always slide all over on the floor. Then I needed to take just a minute to undecorate. Yes, it's in March and I still have Valentine's Day decorations up, but I absolutely love the way that my tiered trays had turned out this year. So I wasn't, I guess, sad to leave them up into the month of March and I don't have St. Patty's Day decor or anything, so. After I got that packed away, it was time to go and see if there were any fun little Easter finds that I needed to add to my Easter decor this year. I went over to Home Goods. Actually, I was on the hunt for something to brighten up the table. We have this dark wood table in our house, and I thought some different Easter linens or something would be nice, but I didn't end up finding anything they had tons of cute Easter stuff though and I wish I could almost have like an end cap or an area of like I could take a whole area of home goods and just move it to my house because everything is so stinking cute and these wreaths were gorgeous I mean it took a lot of willpower I didn't want to spend a lot of a lot of money saving my pennies from some different home projects so we were just kind of browsing around, but there was definitely a lot to look at at Home Goods, and wanted to include this because I know also some of you watching really love the shop with me videos. So this was kind of a, a three-part clean with me, and then let's go shopping, and then let's decorate for Easter. I was really tempted too to get a blanket because we have this brown sofa, and it was so nice for Valentine's Day. I brightened it up with like a floral kind of pink different throw and maybe I'll have to get some for the different holidays just to brighten things up but it was fun to browse I didn't get too much I did find a couple things um, in the way of decorating that I'll show you here when I get home but it was just fun to look and spend about a half an hour going around the store and seeing all the fun different Easter decor So what I did pick up were these, I was just in love with this plaid pattern and I wanted to find at first the tablecloth and then I thought that might just be a little much. So I got napkins and then I got these for the tiered tray. I just picked them up. They are malted eggs. I was super excited to find them because I hate, hate, hate malted milk powder. Like in traditional milkshakes, that malted powder or like Whoppers, they can't, I hate it. So I was like, I won't be tempted at all. And I took down the Valentine's decor, but I left out this candle I'm hoping I can use and maybe this basket. It could be kind of Easter-y, right? So those are my kind of starting points. And then I pulled out a couple bins. I see St. Patty's Day decor, which I have like two things and they did not make it up at all. But I have these two Easter bins. I was excited to dig in and see what there was. We had this big stuffed bunny that we had last year um, put up and Ruby promptly named it as a friend and attacked it. And then I also found I had actually Actually been looking for this I need to take it out and put it in the Valentine's Day box because <laughs> I was like literally looking for that to go on my Valentine's tiered tray but I remembered that I did have quite a bit more Easter decor than I have Valentine's Day obviously St. Patty's and had packed some fun things away so it was fun to kind of get all of it out and set out on the table to see what we had and then I noticed some stuffing on the floor and I followed the trail and lo and behold, what you got, Ruby? <laughs> she was so possessive of this, like, I'm not gonna decorate it. She's gonna ruin it. And 
that's going to be fine. I had kind of got it with the intention that she might find it as a little friend, but there was stuffing like literally everywhere and she would not let us take it. Every time Nate or I would get close, <laughs> she would kind of walk away with it and I don't know, it was just her, her little friend for Easter, I guess. But I unpacked the decor. Like I said, I had a lot more than I thought I was going to. So and way more than Valentine's Day. And I'm still, if you're new to my channel or haven't watched before, I'm still getting settled in a house. We just moved in in October. So it's like when you have a house in the last house we lived in for four years, I knew where things went. Um, and obviously a lot of what went on the tiered tray last year is going on the tiered tray this year. But there's a lot of figuring out how to decorate a new house in like everyday decor, holiday decor. But I started by getting my tiered trays up here and I love the way it turned out. This garland that I have, I always wish it was a little longer, especially since I, I started out with a shorter tiered tray and then got this one. I'll link the garland below. I got it on Etsy and I might have to order another link. I got these at Home Goods, these little egg carrot things, and then I had picked up this Ray Dunn bunny mug topper. I was so sad it didn't fit on the tiered tray, but it'll it'll live right next to it. I have plenty, plenty of mugs to go around and decorate the tiered tray. I just thought it turned out so cute. And these little cups, I'll link these below too. I got them from Etsy, um, the Easter ones. They're just little accents for the tiered tray of one in teal and one in pink and then had these little rolling pins and things from Ray Dunn got those at Home Goods last year but I think it turned out so cute love the tiered tray the other kind of area I have this isn't much of a decorate with me video because I don't do a whole house kind of have my tiered tray and now I'm doing a shelf <laughs> so we have this shelf in our living room and again it's like this shelf lived in our bathroom at our old house like it was purchased like measured and fit in our bathroom and now in the new house our bathroom's really tiny and don't know where to put it so it is in the living room temporarily or experimentally <laughs> i should say as i'm trying to figure out how to style it um, for different holidays for everyday decor it's just kind of like a catch-all but i actually had after I played with it a little bit, the right amount of Easter decor, I thought, to fill it up and using things in some different ways this year that I'm kind of excited about. I know I've had this basket on the table the last few years, but I just kind of like it with the eggs filled up. And I have this Easter sign that I never knew where to put and these eggs. It's just, I feel like moving things around a million times and I might move them around again after I film this video. <laughs> Who knows? I think I get that from my mother where I'm always wanting to kind of rearrange and tweak things throughout the holiday. But overall, I think it turned out super cute. I added a little basket with some crocheted eggs that I had on hand. And then the final thing I wanted to do is brighten up the table. Now our table seats six and I had gotten these plate chargers, I think last fall from Hobby Lobby. There's the candle and I have this little house things I had from at home. It's like a little wire house cage. So that worked for the centerpiece. And then of course added those plaid napkins. I just think it turned out so cute and it's bright. Not to be forgotten is the Nespresso <laughs> machine. Not that I really decorate it, but I have my mug ready to go for tomorrow morning and I'll swap it out and be able to use some of these fun mugs throughout the season. So that is all the decorating we're doing. I, like I said, I know this was a short video. I don't have a ton to decorate, but I hope you did enjoy it and leave me a comment below. Let me know, are you decorating for Easter yet? Or are you, I know it's St. Patty's Day as this is coming out. Are you a St. Patty's Day decorator? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really love having you here. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe everybody. And I will see you next time.